<clears throat> what up everybody this is big elbow like always chilling with the two wee lads averno atlantis if you're new to the channel welcome if you're not new to the channel welcome back uh, if you've watched the recent videos and you probably know what's up if you haven't let me give you the rundown real quick so i buy i get my new comics through mycomicshop.com uh, i get a shipment once a month with that shipment throughout the month well uh, in between orders deliveries i can add back issues they piggyback the shipping 25 cents for a regular comic 50 cents for a graphic novel a dollar for like a oversized or a hardcover bigger book anyways so uh, that said lately they've been having crazy shit in the dollar bins they've had um graphic novels they had just way more it used to be like one page but for the last month or so it's been like five pages oh, excuse me so anyways that said i already showed the kids books and the graphic novels trade paperbacks if you're interested in checking that out uh just look back a couple videos and uh so today what i'm going to show is all the the dollar books uh single issues that i got so we'll start with uh got this book called 13 coins i have uh, like two other issues of that um if you if you watch this channel you know what i always say nobody beats the biz i'm a big simon bisley fan pick that up just on the just for the art i don't even i haven't read it i don't know if the story's any good or not i got this one um dread gods i had never heard of it the uh bart sears cover got me uh caught my interest but the interior art by tom rainey is pretty cool let's see so this guy looks kind of cool this dude with the forearms and this guy looks really cool And then uh, there's a backup story in here featuring art by uh, by my guy Bart Sears. See, I never heard of that, but um, at a dollar twenty-five, I went for it. This seemed uh, season appropriate. Uh, this is Nightbreed, and it's a number one. Um, I probably wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't a number one, but since it is a number one, I went for it. I've seen Peter, or Piotr, Piotr Kowalski before, and um, I enjoy his art. It's kind of a weird style. I like Nightbreed. I really enjoyed the movie Nightbreed, and like I said, it's kind of a season appropriate right now. Uh, this book here I had never heard of called heathen before i ordered it for a dollar i did a little bit of research and the artist who drew it i thought his art looked pretty cool so i grabbed it let's see if there's any other good pictures in here Kind of interesting. Not really sure what it's about. Looks like it's um, during medieval times. Some good pinups in here too. Yeah, so I thought that was that looked pretty cool shout out to my man uh, Big SG the Sequential Geek for putting me onto this I already have I have number one that I also got in the dollar bin from my comic shop a while back but this is number three of three 
Clore by the Dark One. I really like the art in this one. I haven't read the first issue, so I don't know how I can't speak on the story much, but the art is is really cool. Give you a little, give you a little taste. Yeah, it looks like it's just, I don't know if it's airbrush or just pencil reproduction, but, um, that's really good art. Dark one. Or the dark one. I think it's just dark one, is what it says right there. Uh, the less said about this, the better. I fucking hate the Cowboys, but the season of giving is coming up. So my brother, my big brother, Earn Dog, I picked that up for him. It was only it was a dollar, so I grabbed it. Um, he doesn't ever watch these videos, but just in case he does, sorry, bro, but they fucking suck. This I got just because I'm an Elvis fan. I like the cover. I figured. Um, I mean, what, it's a nice, even if the comic sucks, it's nice, still a nice collectible to have as a as an Elvis fan. I grabbed that. So those are the indies. Uh, these are the DC books that I got. Again, these are all dollar books. Uh, Batman, Secret Files, The Signal. Um, I can't remember why did I order this. I don't know why I ordered this. I think I must... I looked up one of the artists and I thought they were pretty good. Or the artist. Yeah, it looks alright. It's nothing special, I guess. Maybe it was more of an impulse buy. Decent, nothing special. Maybe I'll remember. Maybe it'll come to me why I bought it. I don't doubt it's a key or anything, but it must be some reason I ordered it. These are just cool books of Batman Black and White. I think I might even have. That's number two. Here's number three. Here's number six. These all have pretty decent lineups and probably have back covers too. Okay, here we go. So I should, this one shouldn't take be too hard. Uh, this guy, it's new stories by John Ar Arcudi. I don't know that person. I don't know that person. Nick Darrington is cool. James Harren, I'm a big fan. Klaus Janssen is dope. Uh, Kerry Randolph, my man, John Romita Jr. Babs Tar is pretty cool. That's number six. Who's on the lineup for this one? This one, uh, Bengal, Olivier, Olivier Quapel, he's bad, uh, Nick Dragota's good, I don't know how to say that one, Evely, but uh, <coughs> they're pretty good, I remember I seen them on um, the Shaft comic, I don't know these that one, I don't know any of those ones, I think I do have this one though, I think I already have this one. But anyways, it's still, uh, I'll figure out something to do with it. You can't really go wrong with Batman. And number three, that is a fucking sick cover right there. And let me see. We're not doing too bad with time. I got, uh, David Aja. Uh, Mitch Gerard's Gabriel Hardman is bad. Um, this one, I don't know how to say his name, but he's 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 cool. 
Ramon Viola was all right. Dustin Weaver I like from uh, from the Shield. Yeah, but these Batman black and white books are always are, are always pretty cool. I have the other volumes in like uh, graphic novel. Uh, here we go, another Batman book. Batman Incorporated special. Uh, this has Chris Burnham art. Who, who did the cover as well. I, I like Chris Burnham. Get this out of here before they fall over. Uh, this is Batman Arkham City Endgame number one. So I don't normally fuck with the um, video game comics too much, but this one has art by uh, what's his name? Sean. Jason Sean Alexander. Uh, if you guys don't know him, he draws um, Philadelphia. So I guess this is a tie into the game, or maybe even just an adaptation of the story of the game. But um, just for his art alone, you know, it's, it's worth the the price for me. I think his art is pretty cool, and I like seeing him draw. Uh, you know, characters that I like. Oh, there's a nice back cover, too. That's a fucking sweet back cover. So recently, I um, I bought a full set of this and gave it to my to my niece Chloe. Uh, Chloe, if you ever watch this video, shout out to you, love you. And um, my man uh, Mosh, aka Damian Scott, he drew this series. So her favorite character is Raven. So I gave I I got this set and put it together for her and gave it to her for her her birthday just last month. Excuse me, not last month, earlier this month in October, but uh, I want it for myself, so I'm putting together, uh, putting it together again for myself this time. So there's issue one. I think I have. I also have issue number six. Yeah, uh, here's a Vertigo book called Trigger. I really like the John Watkins art. I have probably about four of the six issues of this series. Give you quick. I should have unbagged these before I started going. Give you a quick look at his John Walk his art. That kind of looks like the Midnighter. But yeah, so I got this mostly for the John Watkins art, and of trying to put the uh, put the run together. This is Suiciders King Kings of Hell A number two. The, again, this is more run filler. Speaking of run filler, this is Static number nine. Um, I really want all the John uh, John Paul Leon issues, but um, I grabbed these other ones as well. I don't think uh, he's not on it anymore. He he's on this one and he did the cover for this one, but I don't think he's drawing it anymore at this point. Just taking the book. I think it's drawn by a guy named Wilfred or something like that. Yeah, this one isn't. This isn't JP. JPL, but I grabbed these anyways since they were a dollar. I like Static, the character, and the, the artist that take over is, isn't bad anyways, but this one is still John Paul Leon, which is why I'm really focused on trying to get the all the John Paul Leon issues. What I really need is uh, that Rebirth of Cool um, number one of four. I have the other three that I found for good prices. I have a 
hardware, the fin- the last issue of hardware that I'd be willing to trade if anyone out there has a has a copy of uh, uh, Static Rever- Re- uh, Rebirth of Cool, hit me up. That's number 11. Still uh, John Paul Leon on the covers. And there's number 16. And that's it for the DC stuff. So, uh, damn, I, I forgot who, who showed this, but I was already interested in it because of what it is but a guy somebody showed it and they showed some interior pages or no they I I think so yeah I think they showed some interior pages anyways they sold me on it so it was like it's like classic Kirby reprinted stuff but like so like it's colored different and they did they added some stuff I think they even might have completed a story or something that wasn't all the way done like this doesn't even look like Kirby Drew. This is looks. Like, I don't know if it's a a prologue or something. But yeah, I mean the Kirby is still. It looks always looks best on the old on the the newsprint. I think. I see. I think some. I think the story. One of the stories was like unfinished, and they had someone else draw the pages. They probably could have chose someone like a Tom Scioli or. Shioli or however you say uh, type that specializes in drawing the Kirby style but still this is this is cool I, I was curious about it and getting it for that price I won't complain too much and this is uh, Wolverine Dangerous Games it's a one shot that has art by uh, my man Ben Oliver and also, there's a backup story by uh, Jerome Pena, who's also a pretty dope artist. This is uh, Marvel's epilogue, and it has some. Uh, looks like Ron Lim on the cover, but so this is uh, the epilogue to the Marvel's Alex by series by Alex Ross. So that's cool. I like I like his uh, you know I like the painted you know Alex Ross stuff pretty much like everyone else does. Um, but I for whatever whatever reason lately I've been like I've been enjoying looking at his his pencils. I was hoping to see some of that in here, and at, at the end you get you get a few pages of of it. But I, I really enjoy looking at his pencils. I would like to see like this just ink traditionally instead of his, you know, painting over it. Get Klaus, John, Klaus Jansen or or fucking Ill Bill, let them ink this shit and see how that looks. Uh, I'd fucking I'd pay for that for sure. That would be a buy. And see, that's the original Marvel series. But yeah, I, I like looking at his, at his pencils and layouts. And then last, I got I got this just in time. I got this for three bucks. This is the only book out of the hall that I didn't get for a dollar. And uh, so, I'm sure as everyone's heard, Dazzler, the Taylor Swift casting rumors and shit. So I got lucky that I found this when I did for three bucks before that news dropped um shout out to my sister my my big sister Nicole she always she she gets the kids all the kids in our family she's got all of them into she gets them all into Michael Jackson turns them into Michael Jackson fans when they're young um shows them the classic you know like beat it thriller all that shit when they're kids and they grow up being Michael Jackson fans. So her oldest son, my nephew, shout out to, what's up, Young Yuck? I know you actually watch these sometimes. Um, he's a big fan of Michael Jackson, so I figure I, I would get him this book right here, just for the just for the you know kick of it. He enjoys some good art. But like I said, luckily I got that in time before the whole Taylor Swift news came out. 
before it got too crazy. It's not in the best condition, but it's not that fucked up either, you know? So anyways, that, that does it for the, uh, the, my comic shop, uh, dollar books. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this, congratulations, you got good taste. Show it by, uh, hitting the like, hit the subscribe, show your friends at work, your cousins, all that good stuff. And, um, comments, questions, recommendations, especially always appreciate that stuff. And again, thanks for watching. Check out my IG. Check out my partner, uh, Warlock's channel. Those are both links are in the description. And uh, that'll do it. Like I always say, get off of YouTube, read some fucking comics.